Hi guys, Sourdough Kathy here, and I thought I'd bring you out and give you a little look-see at what's going on in my garden. So, where I'm at right now is my onion patch that I started, and everything is looking good, and that's not to say that I didn't have some issues, because I put out uh, some very early, too early, and I lost a few in this area here but these big tall ones here have been out in the colder weather and so henceforth have gotten much more greenery on them now the other day I still had an empty space down at this end here and my husband wanted some Maui onions so we picked up a six pack I think or 12 pack maybe and we planted those and they look to be doing really well so I'm gonna swing you over here and I'm gonna show you what I've got it's a little shady so I apologize for the shade um, but over here I have my cabbages as I did last year and they're doing fine thank God because I put the BT down into the soil first and then I sprayed them so this year hopefully I won't get those funky worms now my um, lilies are already growing which they do all by themselves and um, here I've got two more um, cabbages the funny thing is I can't tell there's these little lines in them I can't tell if I'm getting leaf miner or what's going on but I have some problems with this soil over here in this thing and I've changed it out yet I don't know for some reason I seem to get bugs over here now here I just planted out some zinnias yesterday these are mine the ones that I started from seed and they're doing really nice and I've got another another cabbage plant here with some marigolds now I'm going to swing you around here and right there is another pot with some nice uh, giant um, marigolds and these are the plants that were tiny tiny seeds that were that had the funny little faces they almost look like they when they open they look like a snapdragon flower but they have all these little spots and colors on them that are really cool all right I'm gonna take you up the stairs now and I'll be back now in here we have the tomatoes that I showed you in the last clip. They have grown. I have potted them up. They have tomatoes on them. I hope you can see that because the light in here is so bright I can hardly see. Um, let's see. Here's some little tomatoes right there. And the... Um, those back there are the lemon cucumbers and they're doing fine they're a little yellow and I just sprayed them with a little magnesium but they need to get out of here because they actually like it cooler and uh, the only reason I kept them in here was because we've had terrible winds and cold nights so I decided to leave them in but as you can see the tomatoes are doing just fine there's even a bunch of tomatoes right there it won't be long before they'll be ready Okay guys, we're in the poly tunnel now and I'm going to try and take a closer look here for you. Now this is a zucchini and there is a zucchini on it. Over here in the back, I have some peppers that I threw in there because I really didn't have any place to put them. I've got a couple of marigolds in here. Nice sized ones. Now these are pickling cucumbers they're in here only until it warms up a little bit then they're going to go next door where my bok choy is right now because they need to be able to climb here are my yellow squash and they are doing healthily better than the zucchini right now but zucchini always kicks back I don't ever worry about zucchini um, here are my peppers that I planted and these are the mixed ones there's like four different plants I don't know what they are I don't know what I'll get in them 
and this one over here I believe are the same thing yeah they're a mixture of hot ones now the ones in the back and the ones that are right here I believe are the uh, I'm not sure I think they're, they're either the mixed ones or they're the uh, red, red ones I can't even remember the name of them I'm sorry all right, I'm going to move on over to the bok choy now. I have to admit, I filmed this before, but I had left it in large mode. So I wanted you to see the actual size of these things. They are just absolutely gorgeous. The bok choy truly needs to start earlier in the season and be placed in like I started them, I believe, over there in the polytunnel, and now I've kept them under this fleece because the minute it gets too hot, these things just wilt. I mean, wilt bad. And if they don't have enough liquid, they wilt bad. This middle one right here has wilted so badly, like three times now, I'm surprised it even comes back anymore. But they're hardy, obviously, when they're kept at the right temperature. So I'm going to move you on now to the lettuce. No, I won't move you on to the lettuce. I'm going to start you with the potatoes. Now these are the potatoes that I started outside, as you all know. And I have a feeling that the, the white bucket has something to do with the heat and how these things actually grow. Uh, now there's one coming through there. And the others all have something coming through, but they're very slow, and I covered them back up again. These are the half potatoes that I put into a solo cup, just threw a half of one of each one into it. They're doing real nice. They got some beautiful, lush stuff on them. This one, I believe, is a whole one. This one is either a half or a whole I'm not sure but these here are my chitted ones now this is the one that fell on the ground like I've told you before and it's doing just fine so it's I think it's really difficult to damage the roots really they're all doing nicely as you can see so I have I think one two three four five six seven eight nine buckets and to be honest and I believe this is what I I knew this in my head but the russet potatoes will not take hold the same way these reds do they did not get any um, I don't know if they were sprayed with something or what but they did not grow whatsoever not even the ones that had chits on them that were whole. The chits never got any bigger. So anyway, here's the lettuce. The lettuce is doing great now. It's looking really healthy. Parsley back there is great. And even the little guys that came up from the winter cold, I, I never realized that they would do that, are doing good. Here's the one little lonely bok choy. I, it's probably going to go to sea because it's so hot, but we'll see. Uh, I did give a six-pack to a, uh, an Asian lady down the street from me. Uh, she is also a gardener, so I had so many I just couldn't deal with anymore. And these are my beets. They're looking really nice. The, the, the greens on them are just awesome. And they've been out here now hmm, maybe two weeks. I'm not sure. Now over here is an empty bed or so it seems today I just planted my blue lake green beans so we'll see how they do I left them in a little water for a couple of hours and uh, to soften them up and give them a head start and we'll see what happens last year I had a little trouble with these in the beginning the beans weren't coming up and I assumed it was because of some um, uh, compost that hadn't broken down all the way so I did a mixture of peroxide and water and put it in there and then all of a sudden everything started growing so 
I shouldn't have any problem this year because everything that's in there now has been broken down. So I'm going to swing you around this way along the potatoes. I'm going to take you over to my head lattice that I have sitting on a table here. Some more flowers, marigolds. But look at these head lettuces. I'm sorry this is in the shade, so it's kind of hard to see. They're looking so nice. Um, my husband loves salad, so I did this because he likes salad. I don't know what's going on here, but this looks funny here in the middle. Maybe that's the way it's supposed to look. I have no idea. Maybe it had too much water. I don't know. These are some more potatoes here. See, I just, I'm running out of space for potatoes. My husband's supposed to, we're going to, we're thinking about either getting another table or building something. Now, these are my cabbages here that I also did. But these I did like I did last year. I put the BT in the ground. Then I put the fleece around the, the core on them. And then I sprayed them with BT because I do not want the bugs to be eating up my plants. So, down here yesterday, I planted purple elite um, carrots. Now you see I put plastic on top of them because I it's a way of getting them to grow faster instead of having to wait for weeks on end or 14 to 21 days. And then I cover it up. Same thing here. This is going to be um, the Nantes. Um, they're half longs, they're not real long, but they are sweet little carrots. And I do the same thing with them until they begin to show. And I'm gonna put this on top so the wind doesn't blow that away. Now over here, I've done the same thing, only these are the kaleidoscope blend, as you can see. And we will see how long it takes for these guys to come up. And no, that won't hurt them because it's still going to take a few days. Here's another potato here. And here I have a mixture of what I had left over. I had some of those um, pelleted seeds and a few little strips of the other ones. Now over here, I've got my, my own snapdragons and I'm glad to see that they're doing well. I've got some more flowers here. This one's getting ready to bloom right now. Um, another marigold. Another potato. Two whole potatoes in this one. One potato in this one. I've got my flowers here going. All my own flowers. And I do have some flowers here left over from last year that I had just put in the house. They dried out. These are dahlias. And I didn't expect anything to come back, but I just decided to throw some water. And the next thing I knew, they were growing. So I'm really happy about that. Now I'll take you over here. Just a few more flowers. Not a big deal. But... I love my flowers too, as much as I love my vegetables. Well, that's it for now, folks. I hope you will all have a great week. I thank you for all your comments and, and uh, all my subscribers. I truly appreciate all my subscribers. If there's anything you'd like to ask or any questions, just do so. Um, and I love you all. Bye-bye now.